guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 45 and 46 of Star Twinkle Kid here. Okay, before we get started, I'm currently having a conversation with one of my subs, and we were talking about this show, and how, if you look into the past shows, like, really between Hugato and, um, Kitty Kitty Pretty Kirala Mode, I don't really think if Maho or Go Princess had something like this. Where it's the either the Kira Kiraru, the, um, what the heck they had in Hagato. That, whatever they had in Hagato, and then the, st the twinkle imagination that they have in here. That extra little bit of oomph that they need to get before they can go against the secret boss. And the fact is that the only one who has to get it is Hikaru in this episode. Um, we were talking about, like, what exactly it could be. And, I, I mean, I kind of remember them talking about it, but this was, like, episodes ago. So, um, all I can maybe interpret it in, like, what I think it is, because I feel like maybe between, um, 45 and 46, they may do a bigger explanation on it, but probably not, since I'm guessing from what I've gotten. Um, it's just, like, trials that they had to go through, because each girl went through something to just bring her... Um, maybe her imagination with, like, the stars and some ish, the, like, oh my god, I'm trying to think of what else I can compare it to. Okay, I got it. If any of you have seen the show Wings Club, and this was around season, really season two to up until however long the dang show aired, and how if they were trying to get their Charm Mix, their Enchantix, their Blue Mix, their, um whatever it's they had to prove something to whatever magic power they had to use to be able to have that rite of passage that's what i think it is to me but because of the fact is this show and i'll probably end up talking about this more in the, in the final thoughts in the next few weeks this show honestly to me didn't explain that much about the twinkle imagination so you're sitting here every single week still wondering yeah Twinkle uh, imagination is something that they all have, like, deep, deep within themselves, and that they have to figure out what it is. But I think for each of the five girls, it it's a different meaning. Maybe. I don't freaking know. I mean, that's all I, I can kind of think of. But I feel like right now, I, in my opinion, this show was doing a little bit of a poorly job of explaining what it is. So... Hopefully one of these two episodes can possibly give us a little bit more, but I'm guessing from what I've gotten in messages, like, as of now, almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm guessing they didn't do it in episode 46, so who freaking knows? But other than that, let's go ahead and start with episode 45 in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It is just by the way she just looked at the beginning of the episode. You can tell this is going to be like a kind of semi-depressing episode today. Or really, last week's episode. Um, but who knows? That's the thing. You can see she's struggling. She was the last one who needs to essentially find herself and possibly wanting to know. It's almost how, like, with Elena and her situation of what she wanted to do. Same thing with Madoka. Same thing with Yuni. Same thing with Lala, and it's now Hikaru's turn. But I don't know. I don't want it to be, and I don't think it's going to do this. I don't want it to be essentially a two parter episode because I'm still pissed about that. I, I mean, I get the fact of why you had to do it. Like, let's go, I mean, let's go make one episode about Elena, 
then let's go to a filler as type episode and then come back to Elena because that gave me that triggered me to the point when I watched freaking um the Cassidy on Layton show and I did reactions on that and they dropped this big behind bombshell and then the preview for the following episode was like a filler s episode and I was like are you freaking kidding me you expect me to wait an extra week just to find out what happened I mean I was so fucking pissed during that day. Like, you, you can't even imagine. I also, I did see a spoiler. Not about this episode, but, like, a thing for the next episode. But when we get there, we'll talk about it a little bit more. Oh, I miss this song. <laughs> They're basically star cross lovers in the way, so they can never see each other. Yeah, so why essentially is she alone today? (laughs) 
Bye. That's okay. That happens to everyone. No, there's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's normal. Everybody feels that way. Mm -hmm. And you go talk it out with them. Today has, like, got to be the last episode he'll possibly be in. I mean, because... I want to go on. What's-her-face is still kind of there. And he's, like, really the only one left. He's like the Julio of, um... <laughs> get it, get it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Macario. <laughs> My bad. I'm gonna get a video girl mode. One on one. Honestly, this is something that we needed between the two of these characters because the tension of these two you could just cut that with a knife. I don't want to say it's like um what the freak was this thing? I think it was in the shut it was either shut or lock. And uh Flora for girlfriends was. But it does give you feels towards it. Home. Mm -hmm. Mm 
but they suck the water out. Because of the fact that you have no water, it slowly dried in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, where the heck is all of them? Okay, there we go.
What you doing, mister? Come on. Put your head up in here real quick. What the heck did- Oh my god, dog. What'd you get into? No. No. Because you're glad to get your face clean. Oh my god, little dog. No, that's it for you. You could lay your little butt down. I'm gonna deal with you after. This dog. Go on. That's it? Are you serious? Hold up. I mean, I know we at the 20-something minute mark, 22-minute mark, 
But I thought they would have had something else before the episode would have been over. But, I, like, really, in a way, what I said at the beginning of the episode is essentially what Tingle Imagination is. The trials and everything, the negative emotions that they have about themselves, pushing through that, whether it was them learning it on their own or somebody telling them what they think about them truly. That's what it felt like for it, for the entirety of all five girls and the shit that they had to go through. But I think the ones that probably maybe left a more lasting impression on me, I think Unis, of course, Elena's, because I get that. It kind of reminded me of how, like, you know, when you're in the last year of your high school years or you're in your last year of college or whatever. And you feel like you're not going to be able to see anybody ever again. And you have to just focus on you sometimes. Um, probably Lala. I liked everybody's, but the ones, like, it just really depends on you as a character, as a person, and what connects with you in a way. But yeah, it was a good episode. Both of them were good. Oh, well, shit, everybody coming? Well, you know, that makes sense because of the fact is we are so close to the end of this show. We have, like, if we're 26 more shows, like, two more episodes? Because this show was ending by the end of this month. Like, the 26 or something. So, either two or three more episodes, I believe. But... I'm guessing this next episode is essentially where they're going to lose. Because, of course, it usually happens when the big and bad, when the big bad of the show finally shows up for real. Not, um, a not today and, and, you know, fake. Uh, it's essentially where they're finally going to have a moment where, yeah, they're going to have to lose. They're going to have to pick up from where they left off in the following week, but. I ain't gonna know until I see episode 46. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 46. Okay, episode 46 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh. See, I feel like in a way in this episode, they really shouldn't show an opening, but I get it. It's pretty here. We got to show an opening in every single episode, but I felt like it possibly shouldn't be. We should just go right into it because of the fact is we're so close to the end of the series and it would make sense just to be like, okay, go right into the action, do something, then show the opening and then whatever, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the thing that I saw essentially, I don't know if it's true. I don't know until we see, but there apparently are big and bad is not a man, it's a woman. Apparently, I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I saw the screenshot like Saturday, Sunday, and then I was like, what?
Thank you. Uh. <laughs> I feel like what essentially with the um Star Princesses, they had to get like really good like top-notch famous voice actors to play these characters, even though they're not in every single episode. But still, who knows? Holy shit. Excuse my language, but I mean, my god, hold up. But there are so many times you can be able to do that. <laughs> oh, I hate when they do that. Mm. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, Cantado looked like the dang Joker up in this. What in the world did they do to him? Like, oh my god, I know they took the, like, they gave him more darkness, but oh my god, I can't. And also, Tenjo looks hella buff.
thing is you can't worry about them right now the princesses have oh never mind princesses don't have her covered oh Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how can you call that power? Oh, I won! If you keep doing that, you're going to lose power. Yes. Well, that's better. <laughs> we will never forget the person who voices him. Oh my god. Top tier man. <laughs> You're right about that. I 
I mean, you want to go ahead and take off your mask so we can finally see what you look like? Because I feel like you got something under there. So just go ahead. Holy crap. But it is necessary. Told you. She kind of looks like Queen Barrel. You know, and I'm going to say, why in the world were we mentioned about this after the 13th? Why weren't we known about this episodes ago? I get the fact that because we're so close to the end, but still. Which means in the end, she's like Sailor Saturday in a way. Oh my God. I was her. Mm -hmm. uh, this is definitely gonna have a bad ending we all like you can just tell from the tension everything i'm like oh my god um currently happening It's not time to be a Cinderella. <laughs> That's it. Not gonna work. That even gave me Sailor Moon feels. What? <laughs> yeah, stop.
Jesus. So close and yet so far. You know what I kind of want them to do? You know the ish that happened all up in the movie and everything? I wish they would bring that into the television show, but, I mean, essentially, it, it's canon, but then at the same time, it's not. It still would have been nice, because then that's the ultimate, like, OP power for them, and how they defeated those characters in the movie. But who knows? We're almost done with this dang show, and it's just like, what can you do with a certain amount of episodes left? Oh. Yeah, we use it all up. God dang it, you just destroyed the most beautiful place in the show. Even though there's more prettier places, but... Hmm. That is if you can, but it seems like we're stuck. Everyone's going to get sucked up. <laughs> no. Oh. We're gonna get her back. This was a very dark episode. Like, oh my god, but. Honestly, I'm glad I kind of got spoiled on the big villain being a woman because it because I, I kept thinking I was like, you know, it would be really nice to possibly have this character still be a guy. But I mean, I think in the back of my mind, I think maybe for the first half of the show, I was like, what if this guy is a woman in disguise? I was like, that would be freaking hilarious. And then Saturday Sunday came and I was like, oh. I was fucking right. But I think she's really interesting. I like the fact that she was essentially a part of the princess group. But shit happened. I just wish kind of 
they explained more about that and it could there's a possibility it could explain with the next episode but at the same time maybe not i mean who knows i just want them to do a better um time explaining it like how hagato did or how kitty kitty pretty girl mo did maho go princess pretty here and so on and so forth because there have been so many villains even the big bad that essentially has gotten a backstory but with this show you barely gave it to me like dead ass i'm not trying to say that to be mean but you give me a little bit of essentially yes she was a part of the th of the princess she's the 13th princess but then i still need other things i have so many questions about her now but it was a good episode i think this episode was a lot better than 45 i mean 45 was essentially yes the last episode of focusing on the girls but this is going to be the last few episodes where 40 46 47 and 48 maybe if there's a 49th episode but uh, usually it's just 48 um this is when it's gonna like focus on everybody as a whole and everybody's gonna get their time to shine but we all knew coming in that episode 46 was going to be an episode where yes they were going to lose they were possibly going to lose someone i get the fact that yes seeing perunzu cry like that like literally struck something in me because his role in this show was to guard fuwa with his life and Seeing her being taken away by the 13th princess, it, it's just like everything he did was for nothing. And that, of course, he blames himself. It, it's just like anything else. Like if something happens to um, a family member, a pet, whatever, you feel most responsible. Even when someone says it's not your fault, you didn't intend for this to happen. It's just natural and it happens no matter what. But we all kind of knew that Fua was going to be taken away because there's been so many episodes in the past where she's kind of been taken away. They've gotten her in the end. Um, <laughs> Uni takes her, but then eventually brings her back. But essentially with a bad guy officially now finally taking her after 40 something episodes and them crying over her and being upset about this and then trying their best. Like it's going to be maybe a moment where they're, I don't think they're going to even have a moment where they can sit down and talk about this because from this preview, it just seems like they're just going to go right into the action in the next episode. So who freaking knows? We're not going to know until next Sunday, maybe Monday for me, despite all what I got to do, but we ain't going to know until then. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Futures episodes 45 and 46 of Star Trek Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all either next Sunday or next Saturday, hopefully, despite all what I gotta do, um, for episode 47. If you don't, it's okay, because, like I said, I'm still packing, and we're moving. We're, like I, I've said it in other videos, we're, like, halfway done, but um, my mom essentially is like, oh, no, we can take our time, and at the same time, I'm like, I don't want to take my time. I just want to be over there and back, because I... Mm, it's if you follow me on my Twitter, you know, if you don't, <laughs> look at my Twitter. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.